So in the previous two videos that we made, we looked at how do we search expireddomains.net and find relevant expired domains and their backlinks. In the second video, we looked at um, the actual anchor text, anchor text that uh, is going to be used primarily as the keywords for our target site. Instead of this video, we're going to look at um, how are we going to redirect, 301 redirect, the existing backlinks that our expired domain had. Now, so in the previous video, we were talking about goseoonline.com. So I've registered it. it. Used to be a, another site. Now it's mine. Um, incidentally, what did it used to be? Well, many of you probably already know, and I will share it with you anyway. Um, you can go to archive.org, the Wayback Machine. We can go to go SEO online.com. Hitting enter. And this is going to show us what did that site used to look like. So it has entries here in 2010, 2011. Um, you know, interestingly, it has no updates, but it just recently expired. With that being said, we're going to click on an area here. Let's see here. Early 2011 looks like it was most stuff. Um, I'm just going to randomly pick the 24th of January. And this is what Go SEO Online used to look like. Not bad. I mean, certainly it had to do with SEO, right? That's what we would like, we'd like to see because, I mean, if you look on here and you type in Go SEO Online and uh, do a search on Wayback Machine and you find a site that is selling nail polish, then that's bad. Um, but everything lines up here. Back to what we were talking about originally, though. Oop, oop, oop. Trying to find where I was. Okay, there we go. SEM Rush. Um, you may use other sites. This is the one that works for me. Um, what I've done is I've, I've, I've clicked on anchors and then SEO free tools new. Okay. There's 1,375 backlinks from two domains. I'm going to click on those backlinks. Of those backlinks, these are the addresses that are currently being sought. So this page has a link to that page. Now there's two things we could do. We could create a page that has to do with that, all right? If we were trying to use the goseoonline.com, but we're not trying to use it, we're trying to redirect it. So in that regard, all we need is a redirect for this part right here. And copy that. Now, how do you, how you choose to redirect um, is going to be up to you, and it's going to be whatever uh, resources are available to you. Um, an easy two ways that I could just rattle off to you, all right? Um, one, you could install a WordPress site at goseoonline.com, put in a plugin for redirection, and then create a redirect with that text to the site that you want. Um, I'm not going to do that because that uh, would require, though, that the WordPress site be maintained and um, and it, it's it's another piece within the puzzle that needs to function correctly for your redirect to function. Um, I have several web host manager cPanel servers that I already manage. Um, so I have already created an account for goseoonline.com. So I'm going to go to the cPanel for that. Now, did I have to create an account for it? No, I didn't have to. Um, I mean, I, I, I do just because I find that that's the way to organize it for me. Um, you could, if you know, if you don't have your own server, but you have a cPanel, you could use it as an add-on domain. Um, that would work fine. So I'm going to scroll down here, though, in the options, and we have redirects. 
So we're using cPanel to do our redirect. We're going to put in that right there because it's the domain. We already understand that. It should be a permanent redo redirect, 301. We already know that 301 redirects transfer 100% of the SEO value. Um, so now it's a question of the target page. We don't want to just put in the home page. Um, that's it's not necessarily, you know, people who are searching for SEO tools um, are probably looking for information on SEO tools. So I'm going to go to my own site. And I have a tools and users, okay. SEO tools by others, expanded list of SEO tools. There's a toolbox. Um, let's see here. Let's see if this page is a good one. Mm. There's some stuff there, but not really that much, right? Maybe I should just do a search. How about that one? 52. So I'm going to take this address, copy it, go back to my redirects, paste in that address, and hit add. So that's done. So now, all those backlinks that went to that long address, okay, that were for SEO tools, now go to my page free SEO tools those are relevant backlinks um, and that's like 1200 backlinks that I just now earned keep in mind they're only from two domains so I really only increased myself by two backlinks because you know keep in mind we are only counting uh, one backlink, backlink per site for like our own measurements um, then it doesn't, that doesn't mean that, you know, you're not going to gain the refer traffic from all the other links. Okay. But, um, for purposes of SEO metrics and stuff, like for instance, domain authority, um, it's only going to be one backlink per domain. Um, and then you just simply go through and you repeat that process over and over for each one of your backlinks to ensure that they go to relevant content. Um, how long will it take for this to kick in? The refer traffic is immediate. Um, so anybody who goes to that one site um, is going to go to our site now. For instance, we know this is the page that links us to there. So we're going to go to it and let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm looking for... Slightly spammy um, SEO tools. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, it may have moved a little bit, but the main thing is, is there is a link down here somewhere that should point to our site. Hold on. SEO free tools new. Boom. That's it. Okay. So um, click on it. And look at that. It now goes to our page. So any links that used to go to, you know, you can see down here in the bottom, um, in the bottom of the window, you can see the address that the link has. Okay, I can't move my mouse to show you because then it won't show the link. But, you know, you see down the very, very bottom, it says goseoonline.com forward slash and then there's the address so that that, that is the backlink um, and it exists and there's thousands plus of them out there in the world and they all now point to my page and that's pretty much it thanks